trust in your wallet, I mean your safe or nightstand. Hey everybody, this is BK with Masada Tactical with another video and today I want to answer a question that we get quite often and that is, what is the best gun for home defense? So I'm going to go over a list of some typical answers that you may get and some less typical answers, give you my two cents and ultimately help you hopefully make up your own decision. First of all, I want to welcome you all to my uh, my gun room, uh, home away from home for me. Uh, not a lot of people get access to this room, so consider yourself lucky. Uh, my ammo, my gun safes, and obviously I have a few more options than the average person would have um, considering what I do for a living. But that aside, let's talk about some options that may be applicable for you in terms of on defense. So we all heard the old uh, shotgun is the best tool for home defense. and I got a light. Shotgun is a good tool. Oftentimes the comment is that noise would scare someone away, which may or may not be true. I will tell you that the biggest issue I have with a shotgun is obviously the recoil management is hard and it is hard to wield this thing around a house, specifically if you live in an apartment or smaller home, right? So moving this around, looking for someone that may be lurking somewhere in the dark uh, may not be the most ideal option. If you haven't shot it or not, do not know how to manage it well, then this may actually be more of a hindrance than, uh, than an asset. And somebody that hears that racking noise may actually look at that as an invitation in terms of they have a weapon, I'm going to try to take that away from them. So size and noise may or may not work for you, recoil management is the biggest issue. Some people didn't realize, okay, if I have a shorter weapon, it would be easier for me to move it around the house. So they decided, well, I'm still going to stick to the shotgun idea. I can seal up the pump action to get that noise, but because this does not have the full stock, this is the shock wave, so it's considered an other weapon, or uh, I guess it would be a pump action pistol. Uh, this is uh, shorter, right? But the drawback is, if you find the shotgun is hard to handle, think about something that you can't even shoulder, right? And you just have to control all that recoil in your hand. That would obviously be a lot more challenging on its own accord. So again, not necessarily a bad idea, but certainly something you want to consider. In my mind, a shotgun is not my main tool for home defense. I have one uh, size shockwave uh, in my vehicle sometimes, depending on the type of environment I'm going to go into. And as a police officer, I may use one for breaching. But home defense wise, it is not my personal go-to. Environment, as always, should dictate what weapon is best for you. If you live in a ranch or a single family home with a lot of land, right, and you may have to touch a target a little bit further out than maybe having a rifle, specifically either a bullpup design, you guys know I'm biased towards the IWI X95, um, or a shorter AR, uh, that may be a good tool. I can still move this around the house, right, so pretty comfortable. I can manage recoil very easily, right, and I can touch targets further down if I needed to. The drawback, because nothing is perfect, a 5.56 or 2.23 run, right, it's a fast run depending on the structure, depending on what mediums you're shooting through, drywalls and so forth. Um, you want to consider that because this is a hot run that's going to be coming fast and may actually over penetrate when you don't want it to. So again, you got to make your own choice. Moving on to semi-automatics, if you ever took my HQL or CCW class, you know I'm a big fan of pistols and you know I have uh, my preference, red dots, uh, specifically if we're talking about home defense, late at night, you just heard a noise, finding sites may be a little trickier, you can still find a red dot and that may be easier to do. Uh, anything with a safety, again, as long as you think you can manipulate it under stress, you just woke up from a dream and you're not quite sure what's going on, so something to consider. Advantages, this can come in different, a variety of calibers that you can choose which one works for you. And obviously the higher magazine capacity compared to a revolver, which we're gonna talk about next, uh, may be an advantage. Uh, if in case you have a malfunction, you do need to be aware of how to clear it and how to fix it sp specifically under stress in the middle of the night. Last but not least, what I have in my um, nightstand, Revolver, right? I'm a big fan of wheel guns for home defense. I would probably not carry this uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, but something to keep in mind is that the simplicity of using this pistol. So if something happens in the middle of the night, right? Point in general direction, pull the trigger. I'm not worried about my functions because if for whatever reason didn't fire, all I have to do is pull the trigger one more time. That cylinder will rotate and next round is lined up. I have six rounds, 
high, high caliber rounds at that for pistol specifically somewhat slower rounds so I'm less concerned about over penetration specifically with defensive ammo so certainly something that's worth considering if you're comfortable with them if you have the grip uh, the grip strength to manage a double action trigger pull on a revolver um, certainly a viable tool so a bunch of options and obviously none of those are perfect it really depends on your environment the types of house you live in the environment you live in urban or rural okay and ultimately really what I tell people is start with a gun that you're most likely to carry on you anyways if that's going to be your first firearm so for example a shotgun may be good at home but I'm not carrying that around same thing with a rifle so if your first tool your first weapon you're going to buy is a pistol then go with the one that you're going to carry anyways and get really comfortable in manipulating that in case you need it for home defense uh, in the middle of the night right um, as you get more comfortable and more options come about then you can start uh, thinking about elaborating on your personal uh, arsenal and hopefully your collection grows and you uh, you will end up with a bunch of tools and you'll find which one is good for what mission and if you're lucky you may end up with a room that looks like this well I thank everybody that subscribed follows shares our videos if you find this any value in the videos that we put out please 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 share with others and until next time watch your six